Hello again. In this video, I'll show you different advices to increase your server uptime. We'll look for solutions both in hardware and in software terms. If you follow these tips, you'll easily reach 100 days of uptime before needing to reboot. Let's start with the hardware. If you use your server as an NAS, you should plan your storage requirements beforehand. Get more size than you think you'll need. If you finish the space, you'll have to upgrade the storage, thus having to take the server offline. This same argument is true about the RAM. If your OS uses all the RAM, your server will freeze and you'll need to reboot. Make sure all the hardware you use is 100% compatible with the OS. If you use supported hardware, you'll most probably avoid random freezes and surprises. To select the appropriate hardware, you can check the h-node.org website, which is a project of the Free Software Foundation. Although this database is focused on specific GNU Linux distributions, its content is nonetheless useful. Get a case with detachable dust filters because you can easily clean them, without having to turn off the computer, like this. To conclude talking about hardware, I must mention the famous UPS batteries. Using a UPS, an, inter an uninterruptible power supply, even a small capacity one, is better than nothing. I found UPSs to be very useful, especially during thunderstorms, when you have power surges. Small UPSs can hold for a few minutes and protect the server, as well as other appliances such as switches, surveillance cameras, telephones, etc. Some UPSs can interface with your server via USB, so you get notified when power outages occur. You can also monitor the battery levels. On GNU Linux you can have a look at the Network UPS Tool Package. Let's now talk about the software. First advice. Use a stable GNU Linux distribution such as Debian. You might be tempted to use rolling release distributions like Arch Linux. The problem with these is that although they use the latest stable package versions, they lack real testing. Remember what happened in October 2022 with Apple Displays? To further improve your app time, defer updating important packages such as the kernel. In fact, if you update the kernel without reboosting, you might have unintended results, such as the inability of mounting external mass memory. In Debian, you can use the aptmark hold command for the default kernel. You can update the kernel manually when you think it's the appropriate time. For a different reason, you might also want to postpone updates of other important packages such as server apps with databases. In my case, I'm talking about Nextcloud and Gitty. Sometimes, when there is a major database migration to do, it's better to wait for the right moment to avoid bad surprises. To solve this problem, use aftmark hold for programs installed via apt, or if you use docker or docker compose, you should pin the image name manually and change it when you need to upgrade. Don't do experiments on your server, don't install software just to try it. Virtual machines are much better suited for this job. Talking about virtual machines, you should allocate their RAM wisely. Avoid keeping the virtual machines turned on if you don't need them, because they might eat up your RAM if left unattended. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Bye bye.